Oh, my God.
much. I'm super happy, and I think that's very visible even during the ram. Uh, I'm I'm so gifted and I'm so thankful to them both that I'm you know I got got the opportunity to wear this. It shows the Indian heritage and what's more important to an Indian woman than her wedding ring. I already feel like you know I want to get married right now, so I'm really having enjoying the moment that I'm in right now. Yeah, it's a very So basically, all the outfits are designed, reminding of a bride because she, it's her D-Day. So we have taken the color. It's a, it's related to our uh, tradition. I mean, the color, the embroidery, everything which is going on from a long time. We just enhancing it in a good pattern. Yeah, and the bride. She, we already have a bride here right now. <laughs> We're and it's for beautiful, beautiful that you know the Indian tradition. There's so much to Indian artwork. An Indian tradition, and I'm really gifted that I'm able to display it to so many people present today. So, considering how the bride should look like, we have created the stuff. So, and we are presenting the same stuff in same. Manner. So that's bride, what we are. Bride facing the ladies and into experimenting, and you know they are rather than going with the red color, uh, they yes. are going with some other I agree. Color. I agree. Uh, then, what do you think about that? Do you think that the bride should experiment? Yeah, sure. Why not? She should experiment because it's her way of designing her own outfits for her wedding. So she is, she has all the liberty to design her stuff. But then yes, we just telling them to stuck, stick with the tradition because wedding is almost like that. It's a time where you share your traditions, and red color has been associated so much with Indian women. It's something that Indian women close, you know, hold close to their hearts. Yeah, it's it's almost like an Indian atmanship. The zardozi, pearl, nakshi. We have used all these things for this embroidery on the base of raw silk, which is from Banaras. So along with this thing, we are helping the craftsmanship over there also. So all the material is Indian. Nothing is like from uh, exported or anything like that. Everything oh, is wonderful. Indian. Yeah, that's wonderful. So besides, how is your preparation Sorry. Okay, okay. Tell something about jewelry. So it's it's a beautiful brand because uh, we need usually people go outside for inspiration of designs. They don't really understand that India is a home to so much so much culture, so much tradition, and so many art forms that we I I think as Indians we need to encourage. And if you see anybody from abroad, they love. We Indian wear, yeah, and yeah. I and we Indians we need to push our artwork, and I I'm really happy that you're you know supporting the artmanship here in India. So how is your preparation for this? You know, and this is a process of it. Even right now, I'm learning so many things about Indian culture and India because how much ever you learn, it's not enough, and showcasing that on. Such a big platform as Miss Universe in front of so many countries. I, I I can tell you that if they see even like a fraction of what our tradition is, they're going to fall in love with India. So th that's what I'm trying during my journey. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.